New and updated mods have been released today only in game mod hub. In total, we got 20 mods for all platforms. We got five new 13 updates, and we even have a re-release of a mod. As far as PC and Mac players go, we've only got one new. We're going to load up each mod into the store, take a look at customization, and we're also going to take a look at the slot counts for console players, as well as review all the mods that got an update today, because there's 13 of them. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod up. Usually that is Monday through Friday, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss them. Starting off today with some new ones for all platforms, we've got the PAX Skid Steer Loader New Holland. So what this does is it brings the highest end versions of the L300 and C300 series. They've got better weight distribution and they allow for greater load lifting and greater working speed as well. Uh, versatility, performance, comfort, and robustness define them. <laughs> Anyway, regardless, uh, we've got some mods here. They got some change ups as well. So, the first one, the L330. This is the wheel version, 84 horsepower. We got a variable transmission, 74 liters of fuel, 12 mile per hour max speed. That's not too bad, but I think it's the same as the base one. And it weighs 4.2 tons. It is 10 slots on console, so be ready for that. As far as wheels go, we do have Trelleborg, Midas, Rastan, and back in again. And we do have some wine tires on here as well. So that is a big change, maybe a welcome change as well. Door and windows, we got standard. We also have dark and uh, dark two, dark three, dark four. Oof, that's like blackout. That looks pretty good. Working lights, we've got no and yes on the front. Beacon lights, you can throw one on the top if you would like to. Main color, oof. That's a lot of colors, but they are labeled out very nice. So we have a standard matte polished pearly, or light pearly, regular pearly, matte metal metal polished metal and that's it and those are going to be uh for all of these colors so heads up we got a whole lot of colors goodness and then design color kind of the same thing through there now let's go with the uh, polished metal there you go Ooh, that is shiny <laughs> and then we also have rim colors as well how cool is that? You got a whole lot of combinations there. Now, we've also got this version here. Now, this is 12 slots on consoles instead uh, of 10 like the other. 114 horsepower. So we have more horsepower with this. Variable transmission, 96 liters fuel, 9 mile per hour max speed. So it is slower. However, it is 7.8 tons. So it weighs more than uh, three and a half tons more than the other. Doors and windows, we get the same stuff here. Working light, same thing there. Beacon light, same thing there. And then we've got all of the same options for the main color. Now, the interesting thing here is there's only a main color. The other color options don't exist. So if you want those other color options, you're going to have to go with the wheel version. Next is the old cattle trailer in the game. It's going to show up as livestock trailer, so be ready for that. But we can see down at the bottom we got that. So this weighs uh, 842 kilograms. We do have a plank version and a plate version. We even have a grill version, which I think might be my favorite. Let's take a look at some colors real quick. So we've got your main color. We'll change that to, to black. Uh, oh, it changes the plate. All right, that'll work. Design color, we'll change this to red, so around the outside. And of course, rim color is always rim color. Now, how much does this hold? Well, it holds one cow. You could do two pigs, two sheep, or two horses. Yeah, two horses in here. It is four slots on consoles. I think it's pretty cool. It's cheap as well, 1400 bucks. Actually, it's less than 1200 bucks if you don't change anything up. So you'll be able to move around uh, a couple animals, maybe to start off with some uh, small time farming. Good choice. Next new one for all platforms is going to be the animal food bags. We got chicken food, pig food, and horse food. However, uh, they are not just those. Chicken feed is wheat, and that's it. 600 liter bag. As far as the pig food, this is, well, it's actually pig food, believe it or not, uh, 600 liters. And then also 600 liters, uh, this is just oats. It is not complete horse food, it is just oats. So, heads, yeah, heads, heads up. They're one slot. Next to last new mod for all platforms day is the old manure heap pack. This comes with a couple different pieces, and you can uh, kind of, I would say build up your own, but really you can kind of place them down wherever and however you like. If we go into silos and we go down here, we'll be able to find them. So we've got a full kind of boxed off version. We also have another full boxed off version down there, but we also have a corner and we've got a regular version here. Now they do hold different amounts as well. So this first version is going to be 100,000 liters, only 80,000 liters for the corner, 90,000 liters, funny enough, for the wall mount, and 140,000 liters for the other bit there as well. Now, 
Um, the interesting thing, like with the one in the base game, this holds 4 million liters. And it is not 40 times larger than that is. So, not sure where they're getting the numbers from. But it exists if this is what you're looking for. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Wooden Shelters. This bad boy right here is from Happy Mole. We've got a triple, a double, and a single right there. The single is actually a drive through which I think is pretty darn cool as well. These can be found very easily in buildings and in sheds right here. Um, pricing's cheap as well, so that's really nice. Interestingly, single costs more than the double, so there is that. If you uh, are curious about price, but uh, most people really don't care too much about money. I think this would be really nice, especially on the new Silver Run Forest map. I think they'll blend in perfect. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. The very first one today is Michigan Farms map from Taylor Farms. This is version 1.1. Fixed not being able to place fences. Fixed buying land for field 15. After you placed a fence, you could not sell that land. And fixed stones not appearing in the fields. A new save game is required for these changes to take effect. We also have an update to Cow Farm. This is version 1.004. The fix some small things, lowered the lights at the cow shed, added a new embellished one, widened some roads, cleared some trees and bushes, also deleted the two gates at the exit, updated the AI route, and many other things. A new save game is required. And we got an update to the Sin Track. Now, an extended version of this did come out new for PC and Mac players today. We're going to talk about that here in a couple mods, but we got an an update to the crossplay version 1.1.0.5 they've added precision farming support as well as passenger seating with Kubota DLC and they've added a semi trailer attacher however they say the attacher play is too high for the standard trailers so I'm not sure why it was added to begin with. Next up, we have the Massey Ferguson S Series 2020 version 1.2. They've added a new tractor, the 7700S small chassis. They've also got some small details which have been added. Grid bugs have been fixed. The front axle is now movable on 67. Dyna 6 has been removed. Now as Dyna VT, a chassis color has been changed. Additionally, we have an update to the Ponzi Forwarder Pack version 1.0.1. Change the claw and wood handling so no more log grab trigger or log crab trigger automatic instead uh, and they fix the indoor camera they say note to use this please set the change driving direction otherwise the seat will be in the way and they've added the position light in the claw to better access where you are exactly or assess where you are this is from hr force they make a lot of really good stuff if you're playing on the platinum dlc definitely check them out if you guys are using the fit 700 800 vario tms that got an update today to version 1.0.1 added simple ic via configuration fixed several visual bugs and fixed small technical issues bison gigant z061 got an update today to version 1.1 minor visual improvement six row corn headers been added and also pipe outlet cover configuration has been added as well it's also now compatible with simple ic new holland fans will be happy to hear that the new holland t7 tier 4a got updated to version 1.0.1 price has been reduced also minor bugs have been fixed model and decals re-edited and extra working lights have been added some tool updates the pb3 ox1 got updated to 1101 added a new working particles clay effect new colors and also adjusted the price in store another hr forest mod this is the lizard forest pack version 1.0.1 Claw has been changed, log error has been fixed, and small bugs have been squished. We also have an update to the combination liquid tank 3000L for Mac Trucker 921 version 1.1. Added three additional configurations to carry all liquids in the game. Also, capacities are 3,000 liters for each config. Each one change is $500, and it can now be used to carry water to animals or milk to cell points, and will also work an additional capacity tank for spraying. How cool is that? Next to last new update, I guess, for all platforms today is the Big Chicken Barn version 1.1. Fixed the door handles, fixed an added trigger marker, changed the capacity of grain silos, fixed levitating stuff, fixed the blurry textures, changed the textures on the frets, chains have been added to the hopper hatch, the number of display hens has been increased, and daily maintenance has been reduced. And lastly, an update to the large enclosed sheds version 1.1. Added workshop trigger to the hydraulic power lift shed change the drive-through liquid storage shed capacity to 250,000 liters of fertilizer and herbicide converted over the modern red barn the drive-through liquid storage shed now is under containers and textures have been changed a new snow on the roof has been added um if you want some awesome sheds for american maps newer style stuff go download this right now 
you're welcome. Real quick, we did get a re-release of a mod. This is the Cow Farm Pack. So if you guys were using this, uh, maybe you noticed that it was gone, or maybe uh, you weren't using this and you're like, hey, where was that anyway? Well, it has been re-released. And your last mod today is going to be a new one for PC and Mac players. However, it's got a requiring mod. However, that mod ain't automatically downloaded. So this is the Pro Edition of the Sin Track. However, if you want any custom or not any customization, but if you want any attachments, you have to have the regular Sin Track installed. So make sure you've got that. I actually deleted it for this video because I thought this would come with everything I need. Nope. Uh, it also has uh, basically the exact same things as your normal crossplay version with a few differences. So this supports simple IC. It also has dynamic tire pressure and uh, the mod again, no attachments, but you get download the Sendrack and the Cowbacker winter equipment and you'll get everything. So really you're just getting simple IC, dynamic tire pressure, and that's about it. But if that's worth it to you, give it a download. Well guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.